everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here in today's video i thought i would share my entire salt and pepper shaker collection which um i have some in this cabinet and i guess i can just show you the other things in this cabinet i plan on redoing it so i thought this was a good time to share and then i have a shelf hanging on the wall in the dining room with my favorites on it and then there are some in my kitchen so i thought i would just put them all together in one video for you so we'll start off with my newest which is this i dream of genie vintage tv set so i just got this for ten dollars it's not actually vintage it's from the year 2000 but uh, i got this at that retro store i did the walkthrough this is the thing that i got so it's pretty cool. This just lifts off. See, it's ten dollars and has that. And the back just looks like that, which I think is cute. I think they actually made a bunch of them. With different TV shows I was trying to look up online. I think I saw The Honeymooners. Um, I can't remember them all but <clears throat> I thought it was so cool. I've never seen anything like this before and I couldn't believe it was only $10. I feel like if this was on eBay it would probably be like $40. So um, yeah I actually couldn't find any on eBay though so maybe it'd be more than that. I'm not sure how limited of a release it was but I just think they're so cool. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it yet, but. All right, so then we have <clears throat> these. I think this is Miss Dainty or Dainty Miss. I can't remember, but John got these for me a couple of Christmases ago, I believe. And we've got these kitchen prayer. And I've got these cute little pigs that are just stamped Japan on the, on the bottom. They're pretty cute. Next we have got these <clears throat> little mice poking out of cheese. These are also Japan. I just have one of these, um, just this deer. I found this at the thrift store I used to work at like while I was unboxing. I believe it's left in, um, but we never did come across the other one. So, because I had told everyone like if they find it that I would, I would like to buy it. But, so, so far just one. Then I've got these little guys. Would these be like sheep or ram? I'm not sure. I mean, they have these horns. Anyway, I think they're cute. I don't think they say anything on the bottom. Then I've got these little skunks, which I think are cute. They also don't say anything on the bottom, so I'm not sure what they are. I've got these little yellow plastic ones. They're cute. They look pretty old and worn. And we've got these little cats. Um, I like to think that they're Siamese, but I don't know, they kind of look like it. And then this one also came with a little toothpick holder, which I think are cute. They don't have any markings on the bottoms. Then I have these balloon animal dogs, which I think are adorable. They're not vintage. I bought them brand new for $5, I think. I just couldn't resist them because they were so cute. And I had started collecting salt and pepper shakers. This was early in those days and I saw them and I couldn't resist. And I think they fit in with the collection just fine. And then we've got this little owl and bird. I don't think these are vintage either. They kind of 
probably are like 90s maybe. Um, I think they're cute though. They were inexpensive. And then we have these little cats carrying milk and cookies, which I think is adorable. These are actually not salt and pepper shakers, um, but I just keep, I've always kept them with my salt and pepper shakers. They're actually from Avon. Um, and I think in the early 90s. I have another set too, I think of squirrels. I think they're packed away with fall. It's hard to see, but I think it says 1992. So then we've got my shelf here, which is what I like to call like my favorites. I think they all look really nice together. So I'll go ahead and give you a closer look at those. So we've got these little puppies. I'm not sure they don't have any marking on the bottom, so I'm not sure when they're from, but they're super cute. Got little flowers in their hair. Then we have these little deer, which I think are also really adorable. No markings on these either. Oh wait, it says Japan. I feel like most of them either have no markings or they just say Japan. Then I've got this little, um, you know, it's meant to be like a vintage milkshake mixer machine, which I think is cute. Um, probably not vintage. And this one just had, it was just a single, so I don't know what the mate was supposed to be or looked like. And then I've got these little pastel blue skunks, which I love. I think they're adorable. They have little flowers in their hair. I just think they're super cute. And these just say Japan as well. And I've got these blue potted flowers, which I love. They remind me of like Alice in Wonderland. Cute. And also Japan. Then we've got this little mouse from Inesco, which his mate is actually a wedge of cheese, but this was the only one that was there at the time. So I'm still looking for his mate. Then we've got the Lufton Bluebird. I am so happy I found these. I found these just out in the wild for $4. I couldn't believe it. I was shaking when I found them because <laughs> it was so unexpected. So it's very, very cool. They're definitely one of my favorites. Then we've got these little pink chickens, which I think are so adorable. I don't know who makes these. Like I've tried to look them up before but I haven't had any luck, but they remind me a lot of Lufton, but whenever I search that, I, I can never find anything. So who knows, but that's definitely what they look like. To me anyway, and I've never, I've never seen them anywhere or a picture or anything. So I really have no idea, but I love them, adorable. And then this is not a salt and pepper shaker, but I do keep it up there on the same rack. Um, I forget, I think I, I did find out what it is at one time, but I don't remember the company or anything, but there was a series of a bunch of them. They're like supposed to be flowers, you know, and, but they hold, it was obviously missing it, but it, they hold like an umbrella or maybe it's flowers. I can't quite remember. It's been a long time, but it just looks really cute next to those flower um, salt and pepper shakers I have. And then these ones are not salt and pepper shakers either, but uh, they just look cute with them, but also they're very tall. So they take up a, like a good amount of space. Um, there's a, like, it's a tall area. What I was trying to explain was, since they're so tall, I take, fill up the space between the shelves really nice versus if I just had, you know, a, a small one there, so. All 
All right, so now I'll give you a look at what else is in here. I'm thinking of getting rid of some of this stuff or just changing it up. So I figured this was a good time to just film all of this. So we'll just start up here. I have these two um, Harvey's like mugs. This is a fast food chain in Canada. I don't know if it's outside of Canada or not. I actually have four of them. Um, we keep like two in our cover and use them sometimes. So I am thinking about just getting rid of those two. And I've got this random Fire King, I believe, mug. It's so hard. Yeah, Fire King, which I think is cute, but it, I, I don't know. I, you can see I got it for $1.50 where I used to work, so I felt like it was a good deal. So I was like, yeah, I'll take that, but I could probably like sell it and make more than $1.50. Um, and then I, I have a thing for juice, like small vintage juice glasses, I guess. So we've got this little tulip one. Um, this Tom and Jerry mug. Um, John's parents gave it to us, like they found it at their house. It was 1970. Metro Goldwyn Mayer. I might have like a different place I could put that. <laughs> So, and then I have a whole bunch of these Smurf glasses from the 80s, which are cute. I have sold some of them online for a decent amount. So I was thinking, I don't know, maybe I might sell these ones. They're just kind of sitting here. So I don't know. I've got another tiny juice glass, which I think is super cute. I got this at my work too for 99 cents. I just thought it's too cute and it's so cheap. Uh, and then I've got two of these Zeddy glasses, which um, Zeddy was the mascot for a department store in Canada that's out of business called Zellers. Uh, I think these are probably from the 80s or 90s, but they're really cute. Um, although I did just see an article about Zellers maybe coming back, which I think is crazy, but I have so much nostalgia for there because I used to work there, so. Then we've got two of these glasses, which are probably my favorite juice glasses I've ever found. They were incredible. I got these where I used to work too. They actually saved them for me. I wasn't working that day when they unboxed them. And they were like, oh, Jamie would love these. So I think I got them for 50 cents a piece. I do actually have two more that I keep in the cupboard that I use all the time. I just put some things in here for display, but I'm just not feeling it anymore. Um, this is a mug that I actually made when I was little in school. So it has a name on it. And I actually found this at my mom's um, apartment. So... I decided to keep that and then over here I just have some A&W mugs which is a fast food chain in Canada but I believe that it's in the US as well I think it's like a different like it's the same but different I don't know if that makes sense uh, I think it's completely separately like owned by different places but I have a ton of nostalgia for A&W as well because when I was really little, they still had like a drive-in one, so where they would come up to your car and give you your food, like take your order and give you your food. So I remember going to there, but then I ended up working there as well. Plus it's like a very 1950s style, at least here in Canada. Um, but I got a few of these mugs. I think we have a few more in the cupboard as well. And then we actually used to live really close to an a and and we would go there and get coffee like when we first moved into the apartment and they always had these sticks in the coffee um in the little hole part I don't know why but I guess to keep it hot but we lived like two minutes away um so I just kept them just because I didn't know what to do with them I thought they made good stir sticks maybe I don't know I kind of like the way it looks but I just felt I just felt bad throwing them away because it's such a waste Okay, so then we move to the second shelf, which is very Eastery. Um, I used to just put this stuff out like at Easter, but then I just ended up leaving it out. But I'm thinking about 
maybe packing it away and pulling it out at Easter. So um, I got these four little egg cups. These look like Lefton vibes to me, but I'm not sure. So I found these, I think four of them for $1.99. So I could be wrong though about that. It's hard to remember sometimes. Um, and then <clears throat> this set, I believe is from the 1950s. It's actually pretty rare and pretty expensive. Um, but I love it. <laughs> I found the whole set and I have some more pieces as well for $20 at a church sale. We were just walking out the door and I seen this woman unboxing them and like I just seen the first piece and I was like, oh, I have to go back and look at that. And then, yeah, she, she thought she was charging me too much. She's like, um, cause I asked her how much and she was like, oh, um, well, they're pretty old, so I'm gonna ask 20, and I was like, okay, <laughs> that's not expensive at all, so we've got the cream and sugar and then some teacups. I think I have some more teacups and a few more plates, but they just wouldn't fit out here, but one of the main reasons I wanted to get them was because I had already got these plates here. I thrifted these, I think, at Value Village pretty inexpensively. And yeah, these are Holt Howard from 1962. They come with a little tomato bowl, so it's like kind of a soup and sandwich, I think. I love them. I think they're so pretty. Um, so I had already had two of these, and I thought, oh, that matches like so well with it. That's just so cute. And then these little bunny sets which also matches really well is not vintage I bought this at the thrift store I used to work at for ten dollars and it actually I guess I took the sticker off but it actually originally was sold at a dollar store here in Canada called a buck or two which I think has been out of business for at least 20 years so I'm guessing they're probably from the 90s, but I think it's super cute set for, let me just get it out. Okay, now you can <laughs> see it better. I think this is a super cute set that, um, like for a dollar store. So at the maximum, the pieces would have been $2 a piece. So it would have been $6 total. I think it's super cute. They're not like, uh, they're like a heavy glass too, or porcelain. So they're not, they don't feel cheap, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at. So I just thought they were super cute. And then obviously it matches really well with the plates and then also like the, you know, cause it, it, make, it makes it look like it's lettuce or cabbage or, or something. So I don't know, I think it's cute. And, but I think I might just pack them away and put it out as like a Easter spring display maybe. So then down here on the bottom, I just have miscellaneous things. So I've got a juice jug down there. And then we've got a couple of, I would call it like a syrup dispenser. I guess you could put other things in there too, like cream maybe. Uh, I really love this one so much. And then I've got this cookie jar. I think it's from the 1950s. I found it really inexpensive. Some of the paint is obviously chipping off, but I don't know. I feel like it went really well in my old kitchen slash dining room, like from way back when I first started making videos. Um, but I don't really feel like it fits my aesthetic now. So I was thinking I could probably sell that just because I don't have a use for it really. And then we've got the Pyrex um, coffee pot over there, the stars on it. I found this at a church sale for a dollar. And I was like, whoa, I can't believe this. So it's pretty cool. And then we've just got another juice jug down there with like a different variety. I think those were both made by Anchor Hawking and I think they're probably 
like early 80s if I had to take a guess maybe before that but all right so that is my salt and pepper collection along with some other miscellaneous odds and ends from my cabinet there um, and the cabinet itself is from the 60s we bought it for like $40 I think from this guy online Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Hey everyone, I am just tacking on the salt and pepper shakers that I keep out in my kitchen all the time. I totally forgot to film them um, when I initially made the video. So these are it. I've shown them all before in my kitchen tour. So it's nothing new here, but I figured I would include them anyway. These giant mushrooms are one of my favorite sets from the kitchen and these all just go better with the 70s aesthetic which is why I keep them in there.